Hello planner friends, welcome back for another video. Um, if you are new here, hi, my name is Cassie and I share planner related videos on my channel here. Um, typically I am sharing plan with me's and sticker hauls. Um, today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys and um, I'm hoping that this is something you enjoy. Um, but as I was getting ready to kind of sit down and figure out my sticker lineup, my kit lineup um, for fall, um, I was thinking I would upload a plan with me this weekend. I was thinking, you know, what can I do? that's a little bit different for content. And I thought, why not share my process for this? Um, shortly after that, I saw that Tay actually had shared a video basically kind of doing a similar thing. And so I thought that was super cool that we're kind of, you know, thinking the same things here. So um, I know mine's a little bit different as far as um, what I'm doing, but I love that, that, you know, we're all kind of in the same mindset and sharing things, um, but being able to do it a little bit differently. So, um, if you haven't watched Tay from Shantae Plan's video, definitely go check hers out. She has a lot of, um, good insight into how she picks her kits and she shared some kits that she is looking at, um, you know, looking at to purchase or that she has purchased. So, um, excited to see what ones end up in her lineup after watching her video. Um, but yeah, I think we have a little bit different planning styles too. So it's kind of fun to see everybody's different styles. Um, and I'm going to go a little bit more in depth into, um, my process and how that process came to be and just kind of my thoughts behind how I pick things. So, um, I will dive right in to all of this. Um, so my thought process behind, um, you know, all of this and my, my kit, I guess, process, my kit purchasing process that's come up, um, is I was just buying everything that I saw that I loved. Um, you know, I, I love, a you know, an artwork or the way somebody did it and I would just buy it and not really think much about, um, how that fit into my lineup, um, for the week since I ended up having way too many kits, um, you know, and then not using them because you always want the newest and latest and greatest, right? So, sorry, I have some white out on my hands here. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, you know, came to a point where I realized I really need to figure out what kits I'm using. Um, I'm being sort of wasteful with my spending. And so, um, this is something that I started, looks like on this sheet here, this is really messy, so don't judge me. Um, but this was back in February of last year is when I started this. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to kind of share that with you and then show you what I'm doing here. Um, before I share that, I want to kind of show you my thought process and how I typically organize my planning. Um, it might be a little neurotic, but that's okay. If you've been with me for a little while, you know that I can tend to be a little bit OCD. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you, I have a lot of kits in here that I haven't planned with yet, um, that are from this lineup sheet that I had created. Um, this I just keep in my memory planner. Um, and so I have kind of a reference and I definitely change things up a little bit too with what week I use things, but this kind of gives me like at least an idea. Um, so looking at this, I just put all the weeks out here, um, you know, with which, what weeks I had that I needed to plan for. And I could kind of look at like which season I was in and then the kits that I either had or had purchased, um, that I thought I would use on those weeks. Um, and the way that I kind of figure out my kits, I like my planner to have a flow. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you in here, um, like this one, these are all the weeks I still have to back plan. Um, so March 28th, if you can see this very well, um, you can see this thing is so thick. I can't even close it. This is my spring and summer book. Um, so I clearly have not planned a lot in spring and summer. Let me bring you in a little bit here. Maybe so you can see these better. Mm. Yeah, it's a little too close. Okay. So this one is kind of very light colors, um, pinks and, um, yellow, you know, kind of green. And then it kind of goes into, I got too close here. This one here that still has some of those same greens. So if I pull this out and kind of put it together, um, let's see if I can move this over to show you, um, kind of the flow here. So this one has more pinks and yellows with the green, but then this one goes into green and pink, and then we introduce purple. And so then when I get to this one, this one doesn't has, it still has some pinks, but it's got the green and purple. So these kind of like flow color wise. And then this one is like no pink, really. There's very slight little nods to pink. And then we go into more purple. Um, and this is again, just more purples and greens. And then we go into more purple and green in the next two kits. Um, and then more purple here. And then this one's kind of a stark difference, but I felt like the pastel, the pastel made it work a little bit. Uh, but I really wanted to use this kit in here. So then we start kind of getting into like introducing some blues so that I can then go into blue here. And this is blue and green where I go into like green and yellow. 
and then that leads into my birthday week, which I still haven't planned. Um, green and yellow, and then green, pink, and yellow. And then this one I just did. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share the spread. I used the, um, what was it called? It was the kit, the May mystery kit, I think, from Sadie Stickers. But it was very, like, honeybee related and um, pink and yellow. And then, um, I don't know what was after that. I think I, oh, July 4th. So it kind of had a, a weird break there. Um, but you can kind of see as you look through, like everything kind of just like flows color wise. That's how I prefer for my kits to be. This one, I don't know where I'm putting that yet. These are all kits that don't have a home yet. Some of these are like, I've had these forever in their old formats. Um, so yeah, this is kind of my thought process um, as far as like my flow and what I do with my kits. So um, this is kind of in action, if you will. Let me pull this up higher. This is my planner. This is last year's memory planner. Um, but you can kind of see like this kit had blues and pinks and so did this one. And this one had more blues and pinks. And then this one kind of brought in a little bit of burgundy. And so then I brought the burgundy with the pink and that switched to green. Um, and then we went into this one that had some more greens and pinks. So um, just kind of shows you a little bit of, you know, the flow of kind of how I like to keep my planner. Um, it doesn't always work out the way I want it to. Like clearly we went from very pretty pinks to green, uh, but this was the month of March and it was a nice clear cut. So March was a lot of greens. Um, so that's just background into how I like to pick my kits and how I want them to flow. So I keep that in mind as I'm purchasing kits. Um, that way, hopefully I can keep the flow going well because it's really tricky to do it after. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to do, so I didn't put this one back in here. So what I want to do is kind of show you guys what fall kits I currently have, um, that I need to find room for. So what I did is I listed out all of, um, you know, basically till the end of the year, how many weeks are left kits that I know are coming in the mail that I've already ordered. I think that's all that I have coming right now. Um, and then I want to show you what I have um, that I need to plug in here. And then just some kits that I'm um, looking at and the ones that I have coming, I wanna share those as well. Um, but just kind of what things have caught my eye and what's out there right now for fall. Um, and hopefully that'll help some of you if you're still, if you're like me and have not done um, most fall shopping yet. Um, I don't know what it was, fall's my favorite season. I absolutely love it. And I have not really purchased much for fall. So this is my fall and winter book. You can see it's not overflowing like the other one. Um, I hate that when this is totally full, you can't really shut it. Like you see how many pages I have left, like when it's full, you can't shut it. So, um, right now I have this kit from last year that I didn't use and I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to need more florals. So I will have to see if Maria brings this back or if she has the florals in her shop, um, so that I can pick up some more. It is the older format. Um, but that's okay. There's, I mean, Maria's kit format has always been so good that I don't really feel super cheated having an old format. Um, but I love this kit so much and I can't wait to use this. So this one to me, I feel like is very much a September kit. Um, so I'm thinking this will be a September kit. Um, then I have this one from Harriet Wright Designs. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to use this. I love the full boxes. I really, really love that. Um, and some of these are really good, but some of them are so dark unless I put something over top of it. I'm not really able to use the box. Um, I don't really use any of these icons, um, but the bottom washi is still really good too. So I may be able to use this. I have a lot of um, other like fancy boxes that I could pull in. So this one, I don't know. This one to me is, it's September or October to me. It could even go in November, but this one's definitely a fall. Um, I feel like that's a contender for my lineup. And then um, this one here is Peach Palm. I picked this up at the end of the season last year. I think she may have this in her shop again. I'm not sure, don't quote me, but I feel like she might. Um, this format's still really good um, and I loved this kit. So I do plan on using this one. Um, this one says an all at once summer collapsed into fall. So I feel like for me, this needs to be like early September because it's talking about the season, you know, summer changing into fall. So I feel like that needs to be early September um, where this one, the quote says, gosh, what does it say? It's a new season, a perfect opportunity to do something new, something bold, something beautiful. Um, and technically the season changes. Well, I think it's like September 21st or something. So I feel like this could be kind of any time in September. 
Whereas this one talking about summer, I feel like needs to be the beginning of September. So, um, so far we've got these three guys here. <clears throat> and then I do have this one. I picked this up, um, in a D stash. I really loved this and was sad that I didn't pick it up. So I got this in a D stash. It is, um, definitely an older format, but again, still really good. I feel like I could totally use this. And Rachel from Monk and Marble sent me, um, she's who I got this kit from and she sent me like the most amazing floral to go with this. You guys, she's so close to releasing her florals and I cannot wait. Um, if you have not checked out her shop, I know the florals aren't up yet, but just rest assured they're coming. And I mean, the kind of goodness that she puts together and the amount of space she uses is phenomenal. Um, so these were the ones that she had with that which is, you know, not a ton. So she made me some more, which was so sweet. Um, so thank you, Rachel, for sending me those. Um, but this one I definitely want to use in my fall lineup. Um, this one I also got from her, but I feel like this format is just not really doable for me at all. Um, so this one I'm probably going to use more in like my prayer journal. Um, she sent me so many good florals with this. So I think this one might just be like a journaling one that I use, not so much a kit one. Um, and then this one is more, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use this kit or not. Um, that one to me screams more like November. These are all my Christmas kits I didn't use. Um, I do have this sunflower one from Sadie Stickers. I feel like this could be a good September kit as well. And I feel like these colors kind of go together, right? They kind of flow. So we'll leave this one out and see where we're at. Um, and then I have one more, this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this kit. Um, uh, Maria and Danny and Tara. So Danny with a planty, Tara, the sticker garden, and then Maria from Two Little Bees. They collabed on this kit and you guys, this was, I think the last one she did before maternity leave. And this is just stunning. It, like it still makes my jaw drop. I am obsessed with this kit so much. Um, I think I picked up like all of the add-ons for this kit as well. Let's see. I feel like I did. This is the base kit. And then I did pick up the journaling kit in transparent. I'm not sure if she calls it journaling kit. Um, I know she just revamped and what's today? September 6th. So if you guys are, you know, watching this, today's the day that she just posted her update to her like journaling page that she did with Tara and Danny. And oh my gosh. It is just amazing. I know I posted it, but I was like, everything you guys touch is pure gold. Um, they're an amazing team together. So um, I just love it. Um, and a little birdie told me they're working on another collab kit. So i um, super excited about that. So definitely um, this two little bees kit is totally going in my lineup. Um, but if you are still looking for fall kits, I know there's a few people that are still working on releasing some. So, um, some people already jumped into Christmas, but some people are still doing fall. So, um, I'll talk about that a little bit as we go through the shops. Um, the ones that I know are still kind of working on some or potentially. Um, so yeah, right now I've got, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six kits that are kind of fall. This one I'm questioning if I will use this year or if I'll save it for an August kit next year because I feel like this could be a really good August kit. It's kind of when sunflowers are typically in bloom, I feel like, around here. So I may save this. I might use it with these because these kind of go together. So, um, but these are the ones I have and I feel like all of these colors kind of go, but we're going to look at what else I have coming and kind of figure that out. Um, for fall, as far as the weeks I'll be planning for fall, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, potentially 14 if the week of like the week after Thanksgiving. So 13 or 14 weeks, which I'm really excited because guys, I only have six kits and I have three on the way. So that's nine. So I still have plenty of room to buy some more kits. Um, and that makes me really happy because I know there's some good ones coming. So, um, I'm going to move this out. And um, I am going to turn off my overhead lights because otherwise then you see me in my computer screen and we are not here to see me after a crazy long work day. <laughs> Today is Tuesday after um, Labor Day and I work in a dental office and we were closed. We were actually closed on Saturday. We're usually open on Saturdays and Monday. And so when I come back from weekends like that, it's always crazy town. So today's been a day and we don't need to see my face that's the, that's the moral of that story 
Um, so let me just pull this in. Okay, so I've um, got my computer situated. Sorry, I had to move everything around here. Um, hopefully you can see this. I folded this in half and the touch screen is weird sometimes. So um, bear with me here, but I just wanted to share, first I wanna share the kits that I have coming um, just so you can see what I'm also gonna add into what I just shared. And then I wanna look at other ones um, that I'm thinking about getting. So um, this first one here, I'm just gonna zoom in. You don't need to see all my tabs, right? This one is Autumn Auburn from Dash of Sun. I'm really excited about this. Um, so, so pretty. This one, um, she just did two, two new fall kits. Um, Autumn Auburn, and I'll share the other one in a second. Um, this one, Autumn Cottage, I think is the other one. This one really, I love deep colors for fall. And so this one just like spoke to me and I had to have it. I also am obsessed with the florals in this. Um, I feel like possibly the florals that um, Rachel made me, let's see. I feel like these might match. Ooh, I think that they will. They might be the same florals. I'm not 100% sure and it's hard to see, but these may very well match this kit and that would be super exciting because then I could use those in there too. Um, but I did pick up some of the floral um, deco sheets so um, this one just says autumn is my favorite color, which I would agree with. I love all things about autumn. Um, so this is her, um, her kit format pages here. This is page two. Um, I love this one so much. I usually end up cutting off the scallop because I don't particularly love label boxes. Um, so many midi boxes and then just a good assortment of other boxes as well. Really love her format. And then, um, this one here, you still get your icons. You've got some circle fancy boxes, little checklists, um, and then all your headers. So many headers in these adorable boxes here. Um, I love using the scallops to kind of layer behind um, icons and that kind of thing, just to add some color. And then this is the bottom washi. So love those florals. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And you get another full box up here as well and a habit tracker. And then your Monday through Sunday that are really plain so you can decorate them. And then what you can't see, this is all black, but this is a foiled, really thin um, washi strip. And that's one of my favorite things about her kits because I love having that to kind of separate or to layer with the scallop. So I um, really, really love her format. Um, I do PR for Dash of Sun. So um, if you are interested, I'll put my code um, on the screen here. It's always linked in the description too, um, but you can use Cassie 10 to save in her shop. And I do have a freebie. Guys, I'm obsessed with my fall freebie. It's so good. Um, so I'll put that on the screen for you too. So you can take a look at that and see um, everybody's freebies are amazing on the PR team. So definitely check them all out. See which one's up your alley. But, you know, if you would like to put mine in there, um, I would love that. So um, let's go back to, we'll go back to new releases and see if I can pull up. Um, she does have matching monthlies as well. So here's her floral deco sheet. Here's one of them. So I love that she has variety and she's got this big, um, it's like a full page, like the kit size. Um, so many good florals on here and the trims. Um, just love it. She's got so many separate elements, which is really great for building your own bouquets, especially in your date cover deco. Um, I just think this sheet is perfection and I love it. Um, and then if you're not somebody who wants that much, who doesn't want that much floral deco? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're that person that doesn't use that much, but... I love a lot. So usually I'll get one of those um, and one of these, and that's usually enough. Um, sometimes I'll get two of these and one of those, just depends. But um, this one's really good too, a lot, a lot of like the small PC things. Um, so I believe I picked up one of each of those with mine. I'll have to look. And I think I got her journaling kit as well. I've really been enjoying pulling in some of these elements from the journaling kit. So I believe I did get both of these. Um, so that I could pull these in. Love this. This is a kiss cut floral washi. That's one of my favorite things. You've got some adorable deco. And then on this page, you've got a lot of, um, like torn page washi, even some like, um, paint swatch almost looking boxes in the middle here. Just love, love, love this page. It's so good. Um, and she does have a spot on her website. You can choose up in this part here to choose if you want Canadian or, um, US dollar. I almost said English. US dollars. So you can see what it is in US. I mean, $5. I think that's, yeah, that's for each page, um, or it's like $10 roughly for both of them. Um, so that is Autumn Auburn. That's the one I have on the way. 
I do want to share with you Autumn Cottage. I almost picked this one up as well, but I hadn't looked at my lineup yet, and so I held off. May go back and get it. We'll see. I really love this one too. Um, so let me zoom in on this one. This full box or these, this double box scene is like, I just love it. And I love this quote box. Um, I can't read it right now. Um, I think it says something about the trees are about to show us how lovely it is to let things go. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite fall quotes. This is foiling. So whenever you see the black, that's foiling. Um, I just love the trees and the delicateness of this one. Um, so good. Same format, so I won't go through that again, but um, this one is absolutely beautiful in the florals. If you're a pastel fall person, this is a beautiful kit for that. Um, I tend to shy away from pastels in the fall, at least like a ton of them. I really love deep colors. I don't get to use them much throughout the rest of the year. Um, so kind of fall is when I go crazy with the dark colors. So this one I held off on, but it is beautiful. Um, so that's something I'm kind of keeping in mind. Um, this one here from Two Little Bees, I do have, oops, can I zoom this in? It's not going to let me. Um, well, let me do it this way. Oh Lord, it's not working. Um, Autumn Breeze. Let's see. It's not letting me zoom in. I'm sure you guys have seen this on Maria's, um, Instagram page. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, I think this one might be restocked right now. Don't quote me. Um, she, I'm guessing she'll probably restock it again. Um, but definitely check this one out. I love this little chandelier. I really wish I could. Here we go. We'll do it this way. Um, here we go. All right, guys. Bear with me while I figure out this computer. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Where'd you go? Oh, no. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, needed to get back into here. Okay. So this is the Autumn Breeze Kit. Um, fall Bucket List. This Hello Autumn with some torn paper. The chandelier is everything. I think... I'm trying to remember who had a $2 Tuesday with chandeliers. Was it Sadie Stickers? Maybe. I didn't pick any up, but now I need them. So whoever that was, can you bring them back? <laughs> um, but I loved this. I love the florals in this. Um, let's see. Here's the bottom washi. You guys, this is Kiss Cut bottom washi, and it's like these autumn meadow flowers. Oh, it went away. Here we go again. Um, absolutely beautiful, though. So beautiful. I love this Kiss Cut washi. So really excited for this one to come. Still not working for me here. Um, okay. All right, computer. Um, let's go to her new releases and just see um, Evermore. I know she is bringing that one back. Um, she is, I have to double check. I think it's Friday. Um, I'll pop it on the screen here because I plan on getting this video up before her new releases go up. It might even be tomorrow. Um, but she is revamping Evermore. I know that's one that everybody really loved. Um, let's see what other ones we have on here. This is new releases 9-7. Okay, so it's tomorrow. Um, so this is what's coming tomorrow. I don't think, here we go, mini kits. All right, so Autumn Breeze I just shared. Autumn Story is the one I shared that I have in person. Um, Hazel is another amazing one. Oh my gosh, she has this one back. I used this one last year. This was also one of my absolute favorites. Um, this kit here in the florals, so beautiful. Um, let me see if I still have this and I'll share it with you real fast. Um, where do I have this one? I just loved this one so, so much. But this was at the end of this year. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can turn on my light real quick. So you can kind of see it. Here's Hazel in action. Um, again, one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite fall kits. Obsessed. Tempted to get it again because how good is that? So there's Hazel in action. Um, love that kit so much. So that one's back in her shop. I would definitely try to snag that one if you love that style as much as I do. Um, so yeah, two OBs definitely has some contenders. Like I said, I know that, um, she's working on some more fall kits. So stay tuned for that. Um, really excited for, um, the next collab. So, um, here's the other one that I got. We're going to move into paper muse crafts. I really, her fall kits this year. Oh my gosh. I could buy every single one of her fall kits. 
Um, my whole planner would just be paper maze crafts and two little bees, I feel like, because I just keep buying their kits. Um, but paper maze crafts, um, this apple orchard one, I don't typically go for bold, this bold, I don't usually go for red, but her apple orchard kit along with her um, thrifty that she did, the apple thrifty, I just really loved this whole thing. Oh, what did I do? So, so much. Wow, I made it really big in case you wanted to see it that large. Holy cow. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, computer. Go back. Here we go. Okay, so Apple Orchard, this one I have coming. Or Apple Farm, I'm sorry. Apple Farm is this kit. Really love this. Um, I love her format as well. Um, I just think it's so good. Here's a little bit of a sneak there. She's got so many good fancy boxes. Um, so really excited for this. I did pick up some thrifty items to go with it. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will get that in a haul. Um, and then going back to her sticker kits. So, so much goodness. So, so much goodness. Um, this one she just came out with this autumn. So stunning. I adore this. Um, this little red house kind of reminds me of my house growing up a little bit, except way nicer. <laughs> um, I love this scene here with the um, road, these colors, that window with the scene behind it, just absolutely beautiful. Um, so this one is definitely in the running for me as far as potential kits. This one too. You guys, I am a sucker for some orange and green and that unexpected color pop. And I love this. I'm not a huge fan of the bust thing. That's not my favorite. Um, but there's usually one box that I leave out, so I'm okay with that. And then the quote says, keep learning because knowledge is the key to power. Love that so much. I love this cute little like fall-ish outfit. Um, these orange and green flowers. Ugh, just everything. I love this kit. This one, if I had to pick between the two, it'd probably be this one. Um, but I don't know. They're both so good. Um, and then this one, I almost picked this up as well, but again, hadn't looked at my lineup yet, so I need to figure it out. This is a very pastel fall one. Um, this one is kind of like a transition into winter. So I think this would be a great end of November, like that last week of November maybe. Um, but it says winter, come rest your soul on autumn's weary head, twirl, shimmer, soften before tucking fall to bed. Such a great quote. I'm a sucker for good quotes. If you've watched my videos, you know this. Um, but it's just so pretty. It does look like the cold November turning into December. Um, I really love this Isla kit. And then um, if you don't have a, a Halloween kit yet, um, this is adorable. I really love this. It's just so super cute. Um, I'm typically not a cutesy planner person, but this is adorable. Um, and then her spooky. I almost got this. I love this one too but I already have a kit with these boxes in it from my newest addiction and I'll share that. Um, I just love this so much. Tis the season to be spooky. So cute. Almost has like Harry Potter vibes with this hat. Um, love me some Harry Potter. Get the little hanging um, spiders. So cute. So spooky is definitely a favorite. Um, hopefully she'll like do this again next year because I will probably make that my, my Halloween kit next year. Um, and then she does have some other ones in here. We've got Auburn so pretty really love that and then um this one here autumn blues love the blue and orange um so there's i think october as well this is definitely a pastel october kit um not my vibe but like i said i'm not a big um like pastel in the fall at least like those kind of colors but super pretty and then this maple kit also love this one so much so much goodness from paper muse crafts like i really really love that this was one of my favorite kits to plan with this year um so paper muse crafts lots there um chilly nights this is the one that i picked up from my newest addiction so um this shop i also do pr for i will put my code in the description um and on the screen here it is cassie 15 um, you can use my code to save 15%. And then I do have a freebie, which is updated for fall. So I will um, also put a picture of that on the screen for you. I'm trying to like not make this go crazy. Um, so here's Chili Nights. This is the kiddo saying I have kind of similar, um, I guess they're not quite the same, but they're very similar to the one from Paper Muse Crafts. And I'd already picked this one up. I'm really excited. This is a kiss cut or a contour cut box. Um, I think maybe that's the only one in this one, but she's been doing more of those. Um, not a fan of like the headband. That's not my thing. So that box will probably get left out of my spread, 
but I love everything else about it. Um, I did pick it up in rose gold. One of the cool things with my newest addiction is a lot of times you can choose your foil color. So I did choose rose gold because that was Laura's recommendation and I went with it. Um, and I think it'll be kind of fun. So that is this one. I also picked up um, the journaling kit, I believe, for the trims. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not used to this computer. Um, yeah, this one here. Here we go. Trims. Um, this is the page that I picked up as well because I find myself using a lot of those in my spreads lately. Um, and then if we go, she does have some other really good fall ones. So I'll share these with you guys. Um, Nature's Bounty was another favorite of mine. So this one love these oh come on Cassie you think I would learn after how many times have I done that um this one is so good this is definitely in the running for me as well another contour cut box here um really good quote um I can't really read it on the screen right now anyone who thinks fall leaves are dead have never witnessed nope watched their charm I don't know I can't read it guys something on a windy day Watch them dancing on a windy day. Okay, there we go. Really butchered that, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so anyway, this one, I love the colors in this. I love this scene and this one. That could almost be a double box scene, I feel like, but really, really love that. Um, you've got some cute like mushrooms in the bottom washi, which is definitely different. Um, she's got her journaling kits as well, which I love all of these different like deco elements. These are little stamps. Um, so really, really good. Love this Nature's Bounty collection. And then what other ones we have here? Autumn Vineyard. Super pretty. If you are somebody who goes to a lot of like wineries and that kind of thing, this is gorgeous. Like I don't really go to wineries. Wine's not my jam. Um, which is kind of sad because my dad makes wine, but wine is not my thing. Um, I currently can't have wine because of the brewer's yeast, which I apparently have a sensitivity to. So no wine, no beer, none of that stuff. No fun. Um, but this kit, if you are somebody who loves like that kind of vibe or you go to a lot of like wineries, love this so much. Um, this one is a stamp cut and I believe there was one other one. I think maybe it's this one. There was another one that was also, um, contour cut. So really good she's doing some different things in her kits love that um she did just change her format or she's working on changing the format but this is still in her current format which i think is still really good um this is kind of the other pages of the kit so you get your um page three and four here so still has a lot of good elements um, i love her new icons and she does give those to you in the kit colors so really pretty and then what other ones did I want to show you guys in here that were kind of fall specific? Pumpkin leaves. Again, if you're a, fall, a pastel fall person, really fun um, collection. I love this kiss cut, contour cut, whatever you want to call it, pumpkin washi on the bottom. That is like just little pumpkins. It's not a strip. Super adorable. Um, if I was into pastel fall, this would be it. This is a contour cut um, little box here with the door frame. Love this. So, so pretty. Just not my jam, but I love it. Um, it's just not something that really fits with what I put in my planner in fall, but I think it's so beautiful. So definitely if you're pastel, check out Pumpkin Kisses. Um, Foolish Mortals. This was kind of like a fun one that she brought back. I feel like, oh, you can, okay, this is a foiled one. I think it's witchy that doesn't have foil, but this one's kind of fun if you like that kind of thing. Again, this is like kind of charactery. That's not really my jam. But it's super fun so if that is something you enjoy um that would be a good one um chili nights we already shared and then witchy collection this is the one that she just brought back um from years ago it's really fun it's not foiled um you can also get it in transparent this would be super fun for like a journaling oh i did it again you guys um but just so cute right so so cute um so definitely if you want something different you can even pick this up in transparent i love that option all right, Sadie stickers, always with the goodness and Sadie stickers. So um, I feel like I'm taking forever with this, so I'm trying to speed it up here. Um, this hydrangea kit, she just came out with, I think five of these were for her birthday sale um, this past weekend. It's still going on today, but by the time I post this, it'll be over. Um, but she does have some really awesome fall kits. So she's always been one of my favorites to look for fall kits. I just really love her renditions. This one is a perfect Thanksgiving kit that's not like really in your face. 
um, because it says give thanks with a grateful heart. Um, it's got the turkey, but you could always leave that out if you didn't want it specifically for Thanksgiving. Um, but it has like the little side dishes and stuff too. Just super cute. Um, this one, okay, this is like, I feel like you could use this anytime. I'm, I may pick this up tonight before the sale's over, not gonna lie. Um, really love this. It's so cute. I'm not a cutesy planner person, but guys, this is so adorable. I may pick that up during the sale. Um, this one here, Welcome Autumn, very vibrant colors, really pretty, um, so vibrant. Oh my gosh, I love that. I think I'm scared of that in my planner, but it's so fun. Um, November Weekly, this is so good. I love this blue and orange. Um, very reminiscent of the Two Will Bees kit last year. Um, October Skies, that had like the same kind of scene in it. Oops, I just clicked on it. Um, I, I love the blue and orange so much. Um, this one has got like the pinks and greens and kind of golden yellows, also really pretty. This raindrops one, I feel like this one, it is kind of more leaning towards fall, I guess. Yeah, because you've got a sweater. Um, kind of like a fall rainy one. And then you've got this girl, I believe she's foiled. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's so cute. I think she's a foiled girl. My new addiction usually does that. And that's one of my favorite things when she does like a foiled girl. Um... This is a cute Halloween if you like that kind of thing. I typically don't go for like super cutesy with Halloween, but those purples and florals are really pretty. Um, Hocus Pocus, another orange and yellow. Look at the cute little bats. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Is that a little pumpkin? I think it is. That's really cute with the haunted house. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. All right, that's adorable. I already have my, my Halloween kit, but that's so cute. Maybe next year. Um... I don't know what that says. Something about fall. <laughs> um, super cute fall colors. Um, autumn sunsets. Wow, I missed this one. That's really pretty. Wow, I did not see that one. I feel like I've been out of the loop. This barn kit, also super cute in fall. I did pick up this kit. Um, I forgot to pull that out. I have that that I have set aside here for my haul video. Um, so yes, I have that one right here. You can't really see it very well. Turn my light on for a second. It's still in my packaging here, but this one's so pretty. Really love this. Um, so yes, I do have another, um, that's the one that has that other box, like the Paper Muse Crafts one. So super cute. Let's see, I think she still has a few more. She has so many fall kits and her shipping is super fast. So if you're like in a time crunch, definitely... Sadie stickers is super fast. This one's also really pretty. I miss this one too. Ooh, I love this. I love that girl with her braid. All right, that one might go in my favorites here. Life is better in a sweater. Agree. Love that. And then I think, oh gosh, no, we still have fall. So at the risk of this going super long, this was one of my favorites last year, you guys. I love this one. I think that was... Yeah, I just shared this, or just just saw this when I was sharing the other one. Here's another, um, come on, there we go. Well, it's not like super great because my planner is way bigger here. But this is, um, whatever the kit name of this is, this is it in action. I This was probably one of my favorite, favorite fall spreads last year. And I think this whole kit is the same. Yeah, that's the same. So um, Autumn, one of my favorites, if you like a little bit more bold. Turn that back off. Um, yeah. All right. So many good fall kits. Holy cow, they're still going. So definitely check out Sadie Stickers. I'm not going to keep going forever on every single one of these, but there's so many good kits in here. Um, always a favorite. Um, paper Trail Plans. Can we talk about Paper Trail Plans? Love their shop. Love their cute little renditions of things. Um, this is adorable. If you are a pastel and like spooky, like Halloween, super cute. I don't do super spooky. Like those eyeballs freak me right out. Um, but this is adorable. It's kind of like a glam spooky. So cute. Um, this autumn flame, I've been sitting here on this one and thinking I might need this. I love this window scene. Love it. I'm pretty sure this black is foiled as well. And this is just beautiful. These colors, um, their kit format's always really, really good. Um, kind of obsessed with this one. So here's let me pull this up. Okay, so there's the main page. Here is page two. You guys, look at all the floral and deco. I don't even think I've looked at this since they updated. Oh, so good. This is such a good format. Oh my gosh. 
Jess and Susie, you guys are just always killing it with your format with some little paper things here, tiny little um, date covers, and then you can choose to go with this option if you would rather. So I love that you can pick which um, bottom washi you want. So these are a little bit more like DIY date covers, um, Kiss Cut Floral versus this one here. I always have such a hard time deciding because I like them both. Um, but this one is definitely a contender for me. i um, been keeping my eye on this. This journaling kit is freaking amazing. Like, look at that. Oh, so good. So good. Um, so this may happen. Um, Hello Petite Paper's shop is closed. Um, I have never shopped from her shop. Um, I am probably going to pick this one up. This may end up being more of like a spring kit for me because of the pastels. But I really, really love this. Um, I believe she does all of this artwork herself. Um, they're just stunning. I've seen some really nice spreads with her stuff. So this one is kind of on my list. I don't have the other ones that I was looking at because her shop is closed. So I just pulled this up on Instagram. Um, but definitely when her shop opens in a few days, um, definitely check her shop out. Um, if you're like me and have been sleeping on her kits, definitely, um, let's do this together. Um, Pretty Pink Co. is another one. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, you guys, because I feel like I, this video is going on forever, but she has some really pretty kits as well. Um, this one's really pretty. I like that. Um, so definitely make sure you check out Pretty Pink Co. She also does her Taylor Tuesdays every week. Um, she's got so many good things. So definitely check out Pretty Pink Co. And then Mintu Studio is another one I haven't shopped from. Um, I love this, but I just bought the other Apple ones. I'm not going to buy two Apple kits, but I think it's so pretty. Um, and this, like, her trims and toppers, like, how cute is that? So lots, and look at this. Look at her journaling kit. It's really good. I do need to try Mintu Studio and find a kit and just buy one of hers because I really think her format is great. I've heard her quality is great. Um, look at this one. How sweet is that? It's so adorable. Um, so definitely Mintu Studio coming for you too. I really want to expand in the fall here and like shop from places I haven't. I just get like caught in the same shops and I love them, but I want to expand a little bit into some other shops as well. Um, and then let's see, I've got Harriet Wright Designs and my spoil planner left here. So Harriet Wright Designs, um, she has some really pretty fall ones too. This one caught my eye. Um, leaves are falling. October is calling. I love that little outfit. So cute. This is really pretty in the plaid. I really love that. That one is sold out, of course, because that's the one I really like. Um, this one too, her Halloween, also super cute. Look at all the bats, that's adorable. This October, very monochromatic. If you like monochromatic, that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Harriet Wright Designs as well. She's usually running some kind of sale. Um, she doesn't have a PR team currently. I used to have a code for her shop, but right now she doesn't have a PR team. So, um, this is beautiful too. Really love that. Um, and then golden, really, really pretty. Um, so love her stuff here. Definitely. There's like a spinner when you get to her website, there's a spinner so you can spin to save. So you can check that out too. And then lastly, my spoiled planner. I haven't even looked really on her website yet to see if she even has. She's got this adorable camping kit, magic hour. Okay, so that's kind of like a fall type of kit. Um, I don't know if these really go like in order. Here's autumn, sunflower. So she's also got some really cute ones. Um, yeah, I haven't bought for my spell planner in a while. The last one I bought, I feel like the sticker paper was a little bit thinner than what I'm used to. This is really cute. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if she's changed that at all, but it wasn't my favorite sticker paper, if I'm being honest, but I really love her designs. So um, hopefully she'll switch that, but I didn't actually plan with a kit, so maybe it would be fine and I'm just crazy. Um, but she's got some really pretty stuff. Ooh, look at the sweet autumn. Ooh, I love that fireplace at the little house. That's so cute. That doesn't do it for me. I don't like little bunnies, but that's cute though. So um, yeah. Oops. We just went out there. Okay, so that's kind of everything. Um, let me just turn my, let me take this out of here and turn my lights back around. All right, guys. Um, I'm just laying these out because they're pretty to look at. Um, but thank you so much for joining me for this different kind of video. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below if this is something you enjoyed, if you want to kind of see as I go through each season. 
Um, I will be sharing in my haul videos, you know, what I've purchased, but um, if you would like, like maybe an updated video of what did I decide to do with my lineup and what made it to which weeks, um, I'm happy to do that once I kind of get it together and just show you, maybe like as I'm putting it together, kind of show you my thought process. Um, it's a little messy sometimes <laughs> thinking through it all, but I'm happy to do a video if you guys are interested and just kind of share like what ends up where and how I decide that. Um, that could be kind of fun too. So, um, sorry, my computer's going to sleep. Um, but just, you know, I want to add some different content and things that you guys find useful or helpful. Um, I know when I was a new planner, I kind of didn't really know how to shop. I know that might sound weird, but I didn't know how to shop to build things up. Um, so if you would like more videos on maybe how I shop, um, how I determine like my $2 Tuesday orders, um, all of that stuff, I, um, would love to just put some content out that you guys want to see. Um, so thank you so much if you've made it all the way through this. Um, I really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, um, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, if you really enjoyed the content, um, and give this video a thumbs up. Um, but otherwise drop any questions or comments below and, um, would love to just continue this whole thing in the comments, but thank you guys so much um, for joining me today and I will talk with you soon. Bye.